find the derivative of the function. So we'll start by rewriting this. We can write the cube root of x as x to the one-third power. So this is y equals sine of x to the one-third power plus, and then the sine function itself here is to the one-third power. So to take this derivative, we're going to use the chain rule. So y prime. So we have sine of x to the one-third. So the derivative of sine is cosine. So this will be cosine of x to the one-third times the derivative of the inside function. So the inside function is x to the one-third. So we're going to bring the one-third down and put it in the front. Then we get x, and then one-third minus one. That's one-third minus three-thirds. That's minus two-thirds. So we're going to get a minus two-thirds here. Then here, the entire sine function is equal, is being raised to the one-third power. So we bring down the one-third. We don't touch the inside, so sine x. And then one-third minus one, we know that's negative two-thirds, times the derivative of the inside. So the derivative of sine is cosine. Pretty, pretty sneaky. <laughs> Let's go over that again. So first we're taking this derivative. So the derivative of sine is cosine. Check. And you don't touch the inside. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside. OK, good. So you bring down the 1 third. 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. Check. This piece here, you don't touch the inside. You bring the 1 third down. Looks OK. 1 third minus 1 is negative 2 thirds. Check. Then you multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is cosine. Looks OK. So that's the final answer. I guess what you could do to make it look better is maybe put the number up front. So 1 third x to the negative 2 thirds cosine of x to the 1 third plus 1 third. I'll put the cosine in the front, cosine x, and then sine x to the negative 2 thirds. So that is the final answer. All I did here was put the cosine in the front and put the one-third in the front. Hope that made sense.